So I thought it would be helpful to talk a bit about plagiarism because I don't think plagiarism is necessarily that well understood and often when I see students who get into trouble for plagiarism it's not because they're like nefarious criminal masterminds it's because they just didn't understand what they were doing wrong and so I want to break it down and explain it for you. I'm going to talk about four things in this video. What is plagiarism? Why is it wrong? Why does it happen? And how can you avoid it? So first off, what is plagiarism? Plagiarism is very simple. It's just representing someone else's work as though it's your own work. And you can do it intentionally or, and this is more common, you can do it unintentionally without meaning to. So you can plagiarize someone else's words where you just copy and paste a chunk of someone else's essay or of an internet source or of a published book and put it into your essay. Uh, you can plagiarize their ideas where you paraphrase but it's someone else's idea that you've taken into your essay and you haven't acknowledged that it's theirs. Uh, or you can plagiarize their research where someone else has found something out and you present that as though you discovered that yourself and you don't acknowledge the fact that they were the person who found that out. You can plagiarize from published sources, whether that's online or in print, from different media, from video, from radio, from film. Uh, you can plagiarize from your teachers. Uh, they may have put together educational resources. Um, and if you use material from those resources, you still have to acknowledge that it was their work that put that together. Uh, and you can also plagiarize from yourself. If you have submitted a piece of work for assessment and then you repeat material that's in your own earlier work in another piece of work that you've submitted and you don't acknowledge that fact, then that's plagiarizing yourself. So why is plagiarism wrong? What's the problem with plagiarism? Well, there are several reasons. Firstly, plagiarism is a kind of lie. You are presenting work that's not yours as though it were yours. And so that's really a kind of dishonesty. Secondly, plagiarism is a kind of theft. You are stealing someone else's intellectual property. When somebody has an idea or does a piece of research or a piece of writing, they create something new in the world, a new piece of intellectual property, and that belongs to them. And if you take it without acknowledging that you're taking it, then that's a kind of theft. And thirdly, it's a kind of cheating. Just like getting someone else to sit an exam for you, using someone else's words or someone else's ideas in your essay without saying that it's their ideas is a, a way of cheating, a way of trying to gain an unfair advantage. So if plagiarism is so bad, why does it happen? Well, I think there are a few reasons. Firstly, because they haven't taken good notes. When you're writing notes, taking notes for an essay, and you don't record carefully where different ideas came from, and then when you incorporate those ideas uh, or those phrases or those words in your essay, you haven't necessarily tracked back where they came from. And so you can end up plagiarizing without realizing just because you haven't taken good notes. A second problem that people have is that they're not quite sure whether the kind of thing they're writing about is the kind of thing that needs to be cited or whether uh, it's just common knowledge and they can just say it. So let me give you an example. If you say the Battle of Hastings took place in 1066, well, that's common knowledge. Everybody can be expected to know that. And so you don't really need to cite a source for that information because it's just common knowledge. If you say, uh, William the Conqueror consulted an astrologer before setting out to uh, invade England, then that's not really common knowledge. That's a much more recondite fact. It might be known to specialists, but it's not likely to be known to just all readers of your essay. So you need to put in a citation and say where you found that information from. And then if you say the Normans won the Battle of Hastings because they had superior weaponry, that is a historical interpretation. 
That's an idea about why something happened. And then you need to say, well, whose interpretation was that? Did you find that in your research, in another book or journal article? Or did you come up with that idea yourself? And so if you've taken that from someone else, it's their interpretation, it's their intellectual property, and you need to cite where you got that from. But sometimes it's hard to know where the boundaries lie between what is common knowledge that you don't need to cite and what is the kind of thing that you need to provide a reference for. So that's one reason why people come unstuck. So how can you avoid plagiarism? Really, I think there are three tips that it's a good idea to bear in mind. Number one, take good notes. Make sure when you're reading around your subject that you take notes and as you take notes you record in your notes where you read each piece of information. Cite while you write. As you're writing your essay, whenever you use a piece of information or interpretation or knowledge that you've got from somewhere else, put in the citation as you're going along. Don't leave it until the end and then go back and try and put in the citations afterwards. And the third thing, if in doubt, spell it out. If you're not sure whether you should cite something or not, if you're not sure whether something really needs to be referenced to a source, but you know where you got it from, put in the reference, put in the citation, and then you cover your bases and uh, you can't be accused of plagiarism. So bear those things in mind. If you take good notes, you cite as you go along, and if you're not sure, you put in a citation, and that way you should have no problems with plagiarism.